What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. So today we are going to be covering the 2022 Gatorback National Slash Minios. So we've got two tracks for you today. I've got the SX track over to my right hand side. We have got the MX track to my left. And then in front of me, it's not finished yet, but it is being worked on, is like the uh, the proper motocross track. You can see the uh, the beginnings of it over there, just a tiny bit of uh, height map going on. I've informed that is being worked on and will be released in the future. So this has been created by Motoboy814, however, that's a lot of the track that you're seeing me on right now, the uh, let's call it the Nationals track, is created by Atlasaur, who I believe is a MX Simulator track creator. I remember playing a few tracks from him back in the day, but I'm not sure if this is just like an import or if it's something that already existed. I, I know that we do have... Uh, we, well, we have had Gatorback National Tracks on this game before, but it's been a hot minute since I've uh, since I've got to play one of them. So we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully my memory isn't too terrible and I can remember the layout of the track. I'm guessing, looking up from the top right, the track that I'm on right now isn't the track that we're doing. I'm guessing that is the Supercross track, the track map, but there's no like separation at all. So you can't kind of do timing on this one and that one. It looks like it's the Supercross only that has the timing. But in true Minio's fashion, I thought, why not chuck on a Deegan skin? It uh, seems to be the way to go. <laughs> the most <laughs> the most popular boy, I was going to say most popular man, the most popular boy out there for the, uh, for the time being. And so far, so good. This feels nice and uh, nice and flowy. Oh, let's get around there. I'm not aware if uh, Motoboy's done any tracks prior to this. He didn't didn't mention on his post that it was a first track at all, and usually I'll usually have a quick skim through, but I didn't do so today. Let me go back in first person. I always feel so incredibly wobbly when I'm riding around in third. I feel like I never really never really do tracks much justice. Let's get up and over that. Oh, what? Do you notice something a bit odd? Why are my hands going through the handlebars? Um, <laughs> could have a slight model issue there, but we, we move, we move, we keep going. I know that I was messing around with. Uh, I, I have a, mod, a model swap on this, and I was I was messing around with it. So, no me. I probably installed something in the wrong way, boofed something up one way or the other, but it should be fine. So, since the main focus of this is going to be on the SX track, I'm only going to do one or two laps around the Nationals one. I think I'll do one more, try and do it some justice, and then we'll go spin a bunch of laps. So, bunch of laps? No, <laughs> a bunch of laps over on the Supercross track, and it uh, should be should be some good fun. As you know, I do uh, I do enjoy Miss Soupy. And I suppose it's not it's not like a true SX track, really, is it? But it'll give me an idea. Maybe the Yamaha is actually quite good, and I, I had no idea. But so far, I've been maining the Honda 250 in preparation for the Supercross season. And you might be like, well, Linz, I thought, thought you was a 450 rider. You would be correct, sir. However, only for you. For NA, I'm going to be doing... Well, it's not set in stone. I would like to do 250s for NA. Sole reason being that it finishes uh, earlier. I haven't got to stay up until 5am to do the races and I've only got to do half of them because the NA series is splitting them out by coasts rather than the 250s doing all around, which I like. I think it's a good idea. Nice to make it a bit more realistic. And I think it also gives a chance for the 250 guys to experience a little bit of 450 life in the the rounds that they're, they're not doing. So it should be all good. should be lots of fun and hopefully lots of competition still. I am feeling so much better on this game in the last couple of days than I did two or three weeks ago. I mean, you boys will remember the absolute nightmare that I was having, like couldn't go in a straight line, didn't know what I was doing, but it's uh, it's kind of coming good. You know, it's not been not been too bad, not been too shabby. Oh God, oh God, stay on the track, thank you. And then this goes around to the left, like sharp corner, and then around to the right. You know, I, I haven't watched any Minio stuff at all this year. Which is quite bad. I probably should do that if I'm making videos on the uh, on the bloody subject, but I don't know. It's not really it's not really interested me at all. Usually, I'll see a whole bunch of things pop up on YouTube, like recommendations from. Uh, it's usually, is it the Racer X channel? It usually does a lot of it on YouTube. I feel like it might be. I, I've, I've had nothing this year. Nothing's popped up into my um, into my recommended at all. No, then the hands on the bars are kind of putting me off a little bit. I can't lie to you. Kind of makes me want to play in third person, but. I don't want to wobble my way all over the place. Oh, let's get up all over this. I think the only bits I have seen <laughs> are like a couple of crashes that just find their way onto uh, to Instagram or into various discords. So there's been some some wild uh, passes and wild collisions this year. Um, Huxon <laughs> had a nice... Uh, got, got taken out. I thought that was quite a funny pass. I don't think it was too bad at all. I think it's just because of who he is. People think that he's getting targeted a little bit, but... 
think that's like your typical supercross pass. It's nothing like uh, nothing like Barsha esque, for example. So it's, he's he's still got his femur. He's not snapped. <laughs> he's not been snapped in half. But yeah, quite a quite an aggressive move, but good to watch. There was another one between uh, someone on a Cowie and someone on a Yam going into one of the one of the jumps. They just kind of like came together up the uh, up the face and went for a, a ride, but they both seemed absolutely fine. So, oh lord, that's not what you've got to do. Oh, okay, Poboso's blessed me today. It's a good day, boys. It's always a good day when you get stuff like that and you don't do uh, do not do a 1080. All right, up and over. And then this is a little tabletop. And then we've got a triple. I think this track is like perfectly sized for the 250s as well. Uh, I think anything more than that around here would be an absolute nightmare. But then again, I don't suppose it's really meant for anything bigger than a 250. Let's get up and over this. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm flowing right now. These are my first laps on the game of the day as well and I've got quite a lot to do today I've, I've got a lot of videos and a lot of recording to be doing uh, it's got to that time of the month again where long-term viewers of the channel will know I kind of I usually disappear for like a week or so every month just to go and visit my girlfriend who lives a long way away so I'm getting ahead of the game on the old video front get us uh, nice and recorded up and I think I'm away from like the 12th of December to about the 20th 21st see how it goes so I'm gonna be all all pre-recorded up and then the only thing that you'll notice is there won't be any live streams during that time so I apologize for that but I think the streams have been going really really well recently we still seem to be hitting that kind of average viewer mark of about 200 or so each time which is it's kind of my goal I don't know why that's just the number that I have in my head now for the streams which is is always nice and still trying to sit there and imagine 200 people sitting there watching me at the same time is uh, quite an interesting interesting concept but it, either way i enjoy it you guys seem to enjoy it especially when we can do the like public lobbies rather than me just doing organized events so you guys get to uh, hop in and i mean a bunch of you show me show me how it's done you know it's it's uh, i end up losing more than i'm winning nowadays which is cool to see and i think the community as a whole over the last six months or so i want to say everyone's just got so bloody fast and I feel like an old man now. I can't keep up with the fast kids anymore. And obviously, I went through that little that little spell of uh, being a little bit washed up. But now I feel like I'm kind of back to where I was. But it's still not enough because everybody else has just got even faster. Like it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. People are just getting so nuts at this game. Especially on like the smaller bikes. The 250 and the 125 guys. Their speed is incredible. At 450, for the most part, I can hold my own. There's one or two people that I swear are... Uh, just having a little bit of Adderall on the side to help them, but other than that, I think I'm an okay like top top five, maybe top three sometimes rider. And we had a race at Erne the other day, and there was a bunch of fast people signed up, and I, I got second overall. I mean, I got third in both motos, but the consistency uh, came through, which again is something that I've been lacking recently. Uh, but if you any bike that you see me riding over the next month or so, don't take it at face value as this is the bike that I'm going to be on for Supercross because I'm such an indecisive, indecisive, in, in that's that's not English, I'm such an indecisive, there we go, much better, person, and I, I honestly, I change bikes multiple times a day, so if you ever see me on uh, a certain bike in these videos, it's just the bike that I fancy riding at the time, I know if I switch up for a live stream, and say if someone will be asked like, why are you on this bike, and I suppose the question is why not, just experiment a little bit, be on different bikes, and I'm trying not to commit too much to one thing, I'm trying to keep the options open because we never know when like the, um, the Beta 18 OEMs are going to drop as well. I mean, I'm quite hopeful, I still would love them to be before Supi, but it's all a bit up in the air, it's either going to be just before it or just after it. So the last thing I want is to go and do a crap ton of testing and get really comfortable on a certain bike, and then a day or two before Supercross starts, we get new bikes and it, it, the whole process kind of has to be redone again, it'll feel like a little bit of a waste of time. Then on the uh, on the flip side of things, I'm like, oh, if I don't do that and they don't release, I'm going to be behind behind everyone else. So it's, I don't know, it's very uh, very hit and miss. But I've been, I wouldn't say grinding in the sense that I've been sat here just playing the game for hours and hours and hours by myself. Usually, I'll if Charlie hops on and wants to play, I'll hop on with him. Or obviously, we get a lot of videos and I've streamed like four times in the last week. At the point of me recording this video, that is, um, this is Monday the fifth of December. So the week just gone. I think I streamed about four different times, usually for two hours or so each time. So the, the hours have been racking up. And on Steam right now, I've got, I think it's like 53 hours in the last two weeks, which for me is the highest in a very, very long time. 
Uh, usually I'm kind of sitting around a 20 hour or so mark, but I, I don't mind it. You know, if it's technically my job for now as well, then I mean, there's no difference doing like eight, eight plus hours a day in an office, is it really? What's, what's eight? So if I was treating it as a normal day job, if I'm doing eight times five is 40, two weeks, 80. So yeah, I'm still not up to the day job mark. I'm not, <laughs> yeah, once I hit 80 hours a week, that's, that's when I'll, uh, that's when I'll start to worry, but so far so good we're fine and i think i need to uh, i need to put in those hours just to keep up with some of the uh, the crackheads of the community uh, i am actually this supercross track really enjoyable so far uh, the previous version of this that i can remember doing i think that the track was built a little bit strange you know the jumps weren't quite very they weren't flowy uh, the corners felt a little bit awkward but so far this feels really really nice um i don't think i've necessarily set any burner lap times by any means i've got a, a one minute i'm sure there's people probably ripping around doing like 55s or such and I, i've just accepted now that i'm not the hot lap guy anymore i mean i posted a video or a hot lap on the kevin moran's sx track the other day and at the time when i first uploaded it it was world record and i thought god that was such a fast lap I, it's gonna be hard to even get another tenth or two off that and then within like two hours uh, someone had beaten it by an entire second so yeah, it wasn't world record for very long that just changed to a hot lap rather than a world record video but yeah, some of the people were absolutely insane i have no idea especially the third person riders anytime i mean i, I learned the game in third so i kind of understand to an extent how to play in it but if it comes to trying to go absolutely flat out i have no idea how they do it i can never like fully feel my front end or feel in control of the bike I mean, the scrubs and the whips are great. Um, I love going through rhythm sections on Supercross in third person. Absolutely love it. It's just nice seeing what the bike's doing underneath you, getting to see all the different rider animations with him lifting his feet off the pegs, or if you doing a, a proper scrub, he gets his ass out of the seat and on top of the bike. It's really, really nice to watch. But other than that, I can't go fast in it at all. And I want to say my first maybe 300 or so hours in this game were all in first person. At uh, third person, sorry. And I feel like I've had a few evolutions on this game as it's gone on. I mean, I started off in third person and then I started playing first, but accidentally had rider lean off. So then I was playing the game just turning left and right on the analog stick, not using the rider lean left and right. It was only forwards and back. And it was, it was okay for a while, but then I just, the place I was really lacking speed was in flat corners. So then I went through all of the struggle of trying to learn rider lean right and left, and then finally got to that. And that's, that's kind of the point I'm at now is first person all of the ride leans on the right stick and there's the steering on the left stick and I'm fairly comfortable. I think that's the biggest thing in this game. There's, I, mean, I noticed there's a hell of a lot of new people recently, especially if you look in the Discord every day, there's someone like, I just bought the game, how do I do X, Y, and Z? And it's always hard just that there's no quick fix for getting good at a game like this. It's purely the time that you want to put in. And then obviously some people learn games quicker than others. The biggest thing that I can say is if, you, if you're in testing, it's a bit harder to do in multiplayer. If you're in testing in solo and you, you have a mistake or you crash, just hop into replay and slow it down and see at, at what point it went wrong, at what point you crashed, and then try and just remedy that next time. And if you keep doing that over and over and over again, eventually you'll get to the point where you have no mistakes left to correct. Obviously everyone crashes, it happens, especially if you're in an actual race and you're trying to go as fast as possible, maybe you're trying to go for hot laps, crashes will always happen. It's not like you're going to be riding around the track in fourth and fifth gear all day, every day without crashing whatsoever. I mean, someone probably could do that after a, a disgusting amount of time, but it's very, very rare for the uh, for the normal everyday person. So just learn from your mistakes, uh, put in as much time as you want to get out of it, because it's... It's not a simulator, is it? At the end of the day, it's it's halfway there. It's halfway between like the the MXGP games and actual MX Simulator, I believe. So it takes a little bit of effort to get there, but nowhere near as much as Sim does, and quite a bit more than the the casual arcade games. But just keep keep plugging plugging away at it. You'll get there eventually. And oh, get over that. You can see I've got two erode on right now, and it's actually deforming surprisingly well. And I've noticed there is there is some issues with online road still. It still gets quite flat rather than individual ruts. But in testing, I've been absolutely loving life. I'm always every time I'm testing now, I'm having a minimum of two road, and it's just been really really enjoyable. And this, this track overall, I, I definitely want to say the SX track I am more of a fan of than the MX track. But I'm not sure if that's just my Supercross bias or if it does reflect how the track's been built. Uh, but but either way, really really good fun. Definitely go uh, go give it a go if you want. And I'll, I'll put links to um, the bike that I'm using as well as the the Deegan gear, like the Deegan replica stuff as well, and the track as well. So 
go give them a go. Free track, not paid for at all, so nice to uh, get some more free tracks for the community. And uh, that'll do it for me. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, I would really, really appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you guys are up to. And until I catch you in the next video, peace. Wanted to make it, I guess, you know, I live with the criticisms. People are giving up, beginning to put it upon the pedestal. A pen for your thoughts, but I never asked for change. My work ethic is ridiculous, and yours is not the same. I swear to God that I wrote it all with a pure intention. The truest testament with no excessive false aesthetics. You couldn't imagine the fathom, the effort I'm exuding. My heart is sold in the ship, and yet they forced me to prove it.